Introducing the all new Corolla. Uh, I did want to reiterate one thing. We have not made a decision. We use this process to make our decision sometime next year. So although we have preferred alternatives, we still have other alternatives the study looks at for firing ranges in the main base. I am for the build-up. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll never know the value of freedom until you lose it. Let's think that way. All your life. Now, allow me please to speak. Don't interrupt, please, sir. 7,000 Marines gave their lives for Guam. But our people then were so glad that the Marines gave their lives to liberate us. Now we gotta reciprocate. Where is the return in that as a veteran, but morally as a son of Guam and a Chamorro? Where is this respect? Guam is small. We are not this mainland. We are not Hawaii. You're gonna put this firing range in our backyards. What about those who seen combat? What about providing social workers and more facility services for those? You ever think about those who are PTSD triggered and you're flying around and driving your vehicles? You think that's not gonna affect the veteran? Support the relocation of, uh, to Guam of certain U.S. Marine Corps units in Okinawa as detailed in the document now before this public hearing. Consistent with this position is the chamber support of H.R. 4402, which establishes a surface danger zone addressing the proposed firing range complex at Northwest Field. Once again, I would like to ask everyone's cooperation to allow the people the respect to be able to state their, their voice and voice their opinions clearly and without any uh, disruption. Virginia Point lands under the stewardship of a federal agency or department other than the Department of, of Defense needs to be returned to the original landowners. <laughs> With that being said, the Department of Defense must also be acknowledged as an active economic contributor to the island of Guam. We are being treated as slaves because we are a colony of the U.S. The video that I just saw today actually said it would require 32 more doctors. 32 more doctors would hire a lot of people. It's going to give us good quality wages. And when we expand the economy, we give opportunity to everybody. They don't have to go to the United States to get their jobs like my kids did. All I ask, not to hurt the people that live in Retivian or have any interest, is that you switch the firing rate from the big one to where the little one is at. This way your buffer is not that big. We strongly support the military buildup and HR 4402. We commend the Mayor's Council and the Republican Senators for unanimously supporting the military buildup and for HR 4402. We applaud Governor Calvo and Congressmember Dalio for their leadership in handling this issue. And we hope that the legislature will find bipartisan support to help move this process forward without any further delay. What's really difficult for our community is that we have to choose between five locations that all contain significant cultural, historic, sacred spaces. And we need to protect all of those places. And so Pocket still remains one of those options. Four of those five options do require the taking of our lands. So I really have a fundamental uh, question about the Marines actually coming to Guam. Because if their deployment is here, to respond to crises in the region. There's no companion in this proposal for amphibious ships and transport aircraft on Guam. So I don't see why they're even coming here. Perhaps